We can use Plotter to create a chart in Rust. So first, in cargo.tama file, let's add a dependencies Plotter to our project. Then let's go to main.rs file. In main.rs file, let's first import Plotter's prelude asterisk Name function, let's create a variable, give the name root equal to we will call beta map backend new function to create a new beta map backend. First argument, we will pass a pass. Let's give it a pass test.png. So it will generate a file named test.png in our project directory. Second argument is resolution for this file. So we'll pass a tuple. And the first element is horizontal resolution. Let's give it a 640. Second element is vertical resolution. Let's give it a 480. Then we will call into drawing area to convert this to a drawing area. Then let's call root.fill method to add a background color. So let's give it a background color ref white. It will return a result. Let's call a wrapper to handle the result. Let's create a mutual variable. Give the name chart equal to we will call chart builder on method. Then we'll pass this root join area as argument. So let's pass ref root. Then we can call caption method to add a caption. Let's give it a caption test. Second argument is style. We'll pass a tuple. First element in this tuple is font family. Let's give it a font family sans serif. Second element is font size. Let's give it a 50. Then we will call into font method on this tuple. Then let's call margin method to add a margin. Let's give it a margin 30. Then let's call x label area size. Let's give it a size 20. Then let's call Y label area size. Let's also give it a 20. Then let's call build a Cartesian 2D to build a 2D chart. First element is the range of the X axis. So let's give it a range minus 1.0 F32. So this will be a F32 type value. Data positive 1. Dot zero f thirty two. So this x axis will from minus one to positive one. Second argument is y axis range. Let's also give it a minus one point zero f thirty two dot positive one point zero f thirty two. It will return a result. Then let's call a wrapper to handle the result. Then let's call chart the configure mesh to configure the mesh we set up before. Then let's call draw method to draw this mesh. It will return a result. Let's call a wrapper to handle the result. Then let's draw data on this chart. So let's call chart the Draw series. We will draw a line. So we'll pass line series new. First argument, we'll pass a data. Let's create our range minus one data one. Then let's call map method to map this range. We'll pass a closure into this map method x. And this closure can capture value from this range. And you can see. This x values type is i32, so we need to convert it to f32. So let's return x as f32. 
So after this map method, let's call map method again. And we'll pass a closure into this map method. It will capture each value. Let's also give it a name x. Then we will return a tuple. First element in this tuple is a value on x axis. So let's give it a value x. And the second element in this tuple is a value on y axis. Let's also give it a value x. And the second argument in this new function is a style. So let's pass a style. Right. So this line, this color will be right. It will return a result. So let's call unwrap to handle the result. Then let's call label to add a label. Let's give it a label y equal to x. Then let's call legend method to create a legend. We'll pass a closure as argument. This closure can capture value. We'll pass a tuple. In this tuple, we will add a two value x and y. Then we will return pass element new function. First uh, argument in this new function is points. We will pass a vector. In this vector, first element in this vector is a star point. We will give it a x, y. Second element is an under point. We will give it a x plus. 10 and y, it will create a horizontal line. Second argument in this new function is style. Let's give it a style ref right. This line's color will be right. Let's call charter the configure series label method. Let's give it a background style yellow and the border style let's give it a color black then let's call draw method to draw this label it will return a result let's call a wrapper to handle the result last let's call root the present method it will present all the pending changes to the backend so it will draw the chart on this file test.png it will return a result so let's call unwrap to handle the result in terminal let's cargo run so you can see it will generate a file named test.png is the file name we add here let's open this file and this file's resolution is 640 and uh, 480. We added uh, here. And uh, its background color is white. We call this fill method uh, to give it a uh, background color white. Then we call caption method uh, to give it a uh, caption test. This is uh, its font family and uh, font size. Then we get a uh, margin 30. And uh, this x label area size is x label area size. Y label area size is a Y label area size. Then we build a 2D chart only contains X and Y. And the X starts from minus 1 to positive 1. And the Y also starts from minus 1 to positive 1. And we draw this mesh. Then we draw data. It's a line. This line. And we return this line x equal to y so you can see the value in x and the equal to the value in y in this line we give it a color red so this line's color is red we give it a label x equal to y here is a label x equal to y then we create a legend and the legend's color is red so it will create a horizontal line color is red then we give this label background color yellow so this background color is yellow and then we give it a border color black this is how we use the plotters to draw a charter in rust hope to see you next time